afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Now batting, Max Kepler. He will lead this one off today. Off the afternoon for Minnesota, the right fielder, Max Kepler. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul in. To the second deck. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch in the air now out to left Upton on the move he's there and records the first down Got so it. striding in for hip Polanco Jorge. first pitch of the at bat right. our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees 89 degrees to be exact at okay. first pitch behind 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two counts even two and two for Polanco here's the pitch sent on the ground out to second La Stella fields it cleanly and there's out number two Stepping into the box, Nelson Cruz. First pitch on its way. One ball, no strike. The 1 0 is taken, strike one. And it's one and two. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. The 1 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. In now, Tommy Lastella. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Lastella. Oh and one. And two. Oh and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's got a three for five line. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he'll watch the slurve that falls in for strike one. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. In now is Anthony Rendon. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Grounded to third. Donaldson's up with it. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as a first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1 0. A 2 0 count to the Angels' left fielder. Yeah, it looks like to me he hasn't quite found that release point so far here in the first inning. 2 and 1. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. One there. Back to first, and he throws it away. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. The first baseman, Albert Pujols. 
Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick them up right here. Two and one. Here it is. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a two nothing lead. To the plate now, Matt Sykes. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. One and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. This is on the ground over to first. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Rosario is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Second inning set to go. Stepping in, Josh Donaldson. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw the first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. At the plate, Eddie Rosario. First offering on its way. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there slap hard the opposite way but this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out the next twin up Mitch Garver he'll get to take his first cuts here pitch on the way fastball in there for a cold strike. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Oh, oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Right. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trout will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Settling in now, Andrelton Simmons. And he's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. No balls in one strike. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike to count to Andrelton Simmons. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2-2. Line drive to center field. Buxton is right there, one down. So stepping in, Jason Castro. Yes, he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. One out. One out. Nobody on. Ground ball right into the shift. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Tommy LaStella now. Second baseman. Tommy. He's ready. Here's the 
first offering. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. One ball, no strike. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. The 2-0 on the way. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now the 2-1. Right back to him, and it's off his shoe. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. Standing in, Miguel Sano. 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. First delivery to him on the way. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. He jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Back goes Trout to the track to the wall. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So now to the plate, Luis Arias. And he'll take a look at ball one. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Two balls, no strike. Line softly toward the hole, and this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first down. Digging in, Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Line drive to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Now Max Kepler the next to grab a bat as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike crowds him a bit with a fastball there and it's to one and one that's not an easy pitch to do anything with right 96 miles an hour in on the hands you almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that hitters count now here's the two and one hit hard on the ground to third Throw to the plate. The tag, and he's out at the plate. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. He set and the pitch. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And he lays off for ball one. Throw over to first. Don't want to forget about it. Now the one and one pitch. Line hard. But foul. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. The 2-2. Kepler at second with two down. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in, Mike Trout. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And now a pitch on the way. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. Swing and a miss on the slurve that time. It's one and two. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And there's one away.
And now for the Angels, Anthony Rendon, a silver slugger winner a year ago in the National League. First offering on its way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And he will get there at first, so he reaches on the drop third strike. Here's Justin Upton now. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a ball 1-0. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. From the stretch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Buxton is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Stepping in, Albert Pujols looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. He's set, here it comes. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. A ball and two strikes to Albert Pujols. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. So digging in now, Nelson Cruz. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Now the one and one pitch He's in there for strike number two so far in this game he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nelson Cruz is retired to kick off the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Josh Donaldson is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside one and oh. A one and one count now to Donaldson. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. A ball and two strikes now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Here comes the first pitch. And that one right down Main Street. One run, two hits, and two errors for Minnesota thus far. Rosario behind with an 0-2 count. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Upton going back. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Up next to Minnesota. Detective. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he fouls this one off. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And another foul ball. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Ready now, Matt Seitz. set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The designated hitter. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. 
neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Fouled off. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. First pitch on its way. Turned on down the line. Well, this is foul for the first strike. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. That misses one and two. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will track it down. Two runs, three hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The batter, number two. Stepping up now, Andrelton Simmons. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. And that's in there, 2 1. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. On the ground to third. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He most certainly does. Ten straight he's retired now. Is that in? Here's Miguel Sano. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Grounded back up the middle. There is La Stella. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. At the plate, Luis Arias hit it hard when lined out in his first mm -hmm. at bat. Yeah, pretty oh, unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. Here's Byron Buxton now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. Ground ball sent back up the middle. La Stella has it, and there are two away now. Ready once again, Max Kepler, runner in scoring position with Sugar. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One and zero. Oh, here it is. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. One and one, here it is. Men on third with two down. Liner toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And the go ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three to two. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. 
Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands the zone. And Simmons will make the play here to retire the side. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And this is taken outside for a ball one. One and one to Jason Castro. Softly hit toward the hole. And there's one down now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Tommy LaStella. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. Throw on the first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Off the plate and away there. One ball no strikes. Counts even to Trout one and one. Boy this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. The count now at two and one. And the pitch. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. So a nice job there by the two hole hitter to extend the inning for the middle of the order. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Two and one the count. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Just enough in the next to hit. The first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. A strike, and it's two and one. And Upton lays off again, and he's in control of the count. It's three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Rosario, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. The relay, but he is in there with a two-run double. Into the box now, Matt Sice. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 0-1 offering. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One one. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2 2. Popped him up. Polanco over to his right. And the inning is over. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line hard toward right center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. The third base, John. Josh Donaldson digging in now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. And 
this one gets away. And not what they were hoping for as that moves the possible tying run into scoring position. Fastball called strike one and two. Hit on the ground to third. Rendon is there. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away. So striding in Eddie Rosario as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. In there and it's 0 and 1. Loud contact there but it's well foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. One ball and two strikes to count. Ready with the one and two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two is a fastball taken high for a ball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Hit out towards second. Lestella fields it cleanly. In time to first and there are two away. So stepping in, Mitch Garver, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Scorched to third. Oh, look at Rendon. He is out. Tyler Duffy enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the six. Now pitching for the play. Number 21. Bottom of the Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. And a fastball one, one. way off target here, and it's even at one. Back the ball two. and two strikes. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And it's fouled away. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So now to the plate now will be Andrelton Simmons. A short stop. First pitch of the at bat. One and up. Now the 1 0. In the air now, out to left. Rosario is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. So coming to the plate, Jason Castro. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Both teams with six hits so far. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 0 oh, and 1 count, and the pitch. Fouled away. Uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Digging in and looking for more, Luis Arias. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And he takes ball one. Two and oh now. He 
safe. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Down the third baseline. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 31. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. He's got it and there are two down now. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up the outfielder Max Kepler. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. A shot down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch. Now. And leading up for the Eagles, the second base. First pitch on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And that's out number one. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First offering on its way. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. Count even now at one and one. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. He's fallen behind now three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Full count. Three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there and that's out number two. Stepping into the box. Anthony Rendon. He singled his last time up. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. 0-2 oh, is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. A bouncer to the left side. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Leading up to the twin, the shortstop, Jorge 
Cam Bedrosian has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. Ball and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball, not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Standing in now, Eddie Rosario. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. Quick check on that tying run at first and the runner back easily. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Runner back standing. The one two is taken for ball two. Four three, our score here as we play the eighth. They'll stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he's back in standing. Line towards center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Tyler Clifford goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Tyler Clifford. Pitch on its way to Upton.
tough to do much with that one. A swing and a miss. You got to be paying attention as an offense in the hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. To two balls and two strikes now. And Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Into the box, Albert Pujols. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. One strike to Pujols. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Matt Seitz. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Clipper rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Behind 0-2 now. And the pitch. And he fouls this one off. And he misses there. One and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's another one, too. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Garver recovers, and that ends the inning. Leading off to the twin, the catcher. Hansel Robles takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Field in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. Now in the box, Miguel Sano. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Fouled off. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. So striding forward now, Luis Arias. He's two for three and looking for more here. First offering on its way. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. In now, Byron Buxton. 
He grounds it sharply to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw to first will take care of him as the tying run will be left stranded at second base. This ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Los Angeles Angels used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Shohei Otani takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. for this afternoon. First for the victorious Angels. Four runs on six hits. No errors. They left five men on base.